So that second thing that we see, the most common injury that we see with arm bars is what we call an ulnar collateral ligament complex. And that's just a bunch of words meaning the ulna, the inside of the elbow, and it's a collateral ligament, meaning that it crosses the joint and it's a passive tissue, it's a ligament. It just covers the elbow joint. And what it does, it adds stability for when the joint gets pressed inwards, what we call a valgus force. So if there's a force on the outside of the elbow and the joint itself is getting stressed and twisted and pushed on the inside, that collateral ligament keeps it stable and holds it in place. And so what ends up happening with an arm bar, it's a hyperextension injury. So we get that bony joint on joint like we just talked about. But the other thing that happens is we get pressure Typically, because how people are running arm bars, we get pressure in that valgus and we get overstretching through the inside of that elbow joint. And what we see there is that ulnar collateral ligament gets stressed and those tissues get pulled and sometimes they get torn. Sometimes a little bit, sometimes a full rupture. With arm bar injuries in general, the research that we know about, there's a range of injuries that happen to the ulnar collateral ligament complex, but in most arm bar injuries, it gets damaged to some degree. So there's always a little bit of pain on the inside of the elbow and there's always some symptoms associated with it because more often than not, there's always some damage that happens there. The ulnar collateral ligament, what's important to understand about it is it's not a muscle tissue, it's a collagen-based tissue. All of the fibers align in a parallel fashion and it's really, really strong in one direction. So it really resists pull in one direction. When we get damage to a ligament complex like that, a portion, if not all of the fibers will get damaged, but they'll lay back down on top of each other. But when they lay back down after damage, they lay down haphazardly, meaning they're not parallel anymore, they're kind of disorganized like this. What ends up happening and what causes a chronic pain state in a lot of these arm bars, and that's why if you leave it, it doesn't go away, it just lingers and it gets injured easier and easier down the line, is that ulnar collateral ligament complex, it gets damaged, the fibers lay down haphazardly, so now from before, if you had a certain capacity for that ligament to handle force, when they're all straight, now that certain capacity drops from up here, way down to here. And so it's a lot less strong when it's being pulled on. So it's much easier to re-damage and re-injure. So what happens is they get injured, the fibers lay down, and then we load the elbow again as we work back into training without rehabbing it, and it gets damaged again. And this process just repeats and repeats. If you don't do something about it, I've actually seen people that lose range of movement permanently in their elbow because those fibers, as they keep laying down, they scar up and they don't have the capacity that they did before. So with this, the ulnar collateral ligament complex is a super important part that we're gonna focus on in the rehab process and how we rehab collagen tissues versus muscle tissues are very, very different. How we rehab them is through a progressive overload. And why that's important is because when the tissues lay down haphazardly, the only thing that allows them to know how to lay back down parallel is putting force through those tissues. So we have to pull on it and show those tissues where we want them to be strong. Now the rub of it is if we overload it, so if we do too much, show them too hard where they need to pull, they'll damage again, they'll really lay back down haphazardly. If we don't load them enough, we don't have enough force to show them in which way they need to be strong, so maintain this position. So what we shoot for when we're rehabbing the ulnar collateral ligament complex is this Goldilocks zone or any collagen tissue for that matter. We shoot for this Goldilocks zone and we want to load it enough that we start to get those fibers to realign and recourse and strengthen up in this direction, but we don't want to overload it to where we get a new injury on it. The Amount of loading is the tricky part because if you only damage, say, 10% of those fibers, you can handle a lot higher of a load and they'll realign versus, say, if you have a full rupture, it'll handle a much lower load before you re-injure it again. So part of that that we're going to teach you is how to find that level that we need to load it at, what are the indicators to know we're doing it correctly, and how do we work in that Goldilocks zone so we get that ulnar collateral ligament tissues to realign, to get super strong, and without pain, we get full function of our elbow back.